This morning in studio, we are joined by Winkler Recreation Programmer Meg Diaz. Meg, welcome here. Thank you for having me. Thanks for coming in to talk all things Winkler Recreation, specifically, you know, spring break. We're getting to the end of it, but you said it's been busy. It has been busy. We've run a lot of our regular programming, added in some $5 stick and pucks and skates, and Today Choice Realty sponsoring a free one, so I'm guessing the building will be full between 1 and 3 today. Um, and we have Baseball Manitoba running programs out of the field house. Soccer is going for some user groups out of the field house, so it has been busy. It is a noisy and alive place, which is exactly why I got into, back into recreation. Absolutely. And even though the, the the sun is shining, the sky is blue, people still want to get on the ice and play hockey. Well, and it's still really cold. It's a bit deceiving, right? And yeah. so I think the walking track is still a much more much more uh, pleasurable place to go for a walk than in this wind. <laughs> Certainly. Uh, a little while back, we talked Move It Monday, something new for Winkler Rec this year. How's that been going? It has been going really well. It, a part, what started out as a partnership with Central Station, uh, they provide snacks. I mean, everybody loves snacks, coffee mm -hmm. in the morning. Um, we, had, we had somebody say the other day that that's why they love to get up in the morning on Mondays because they get to come here, come to the facility and they get to, uh, it, we're building community which is pretty fantastic. So between all the programs and adding in some extra turf time and uh, people are really starting to recognize that we have quite a facility and it's a great place to be. Yeah, it was definitely noisy last night at the, the Flyers game, so it's always buzzing with activity. It is. There's always something, morning, noon, and night. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. You mentioned other things like pop-up parks coming up as well as recreational volleyball. Yeah, so pop-up parks kind of came out of the fact that we put in our hard floor um, at the end of April. Sometimes we need to uh, remind people that we can get back outside. It's uh, mm -hmm. hopefully winter is over by then. So <laughs> as we transition into May, it's nice to um, get people out into green spaces and still um, still have our community that we've built over the winter through our programming get together as we transition into the summer months yeah and bringing back recreational volleyball for for a month mm -hmm. we're gonna do a little trial run so four weeks and if we get enough of an uptake i think that next week next year we could probably see that uh, go into our regular programming so awesome mm -hmm. to hear and that's just show up and and play but there is a cost to it yeah it's ten dollars for four weeks you can register online through the Meridian exhibition center or we will have the drop-in option as well yeah Perfect. And that's kind of what's happening right now in the spring, but looking towards summer, which people are already planning for. What do you have going on uh, with Winkler Rec? Well, before we know it, I mean, we're going to be having the pool opening in May. Um, we have our summer camps coming up. Um, really excited about the nine weeks that we have planned. Uh, Regan, our programmer, is back this summer. Um, actually, almost all of our, no, all of our summer camp staff is back. So a lot of familiar faces um, after the trial run last year of what camps looked like. We couldn't, couldn't not run them because they were so fantastic. So... We've got some themes, Summer Olympics, of course, why wouldn't we, right? Yep. And Game Show Mania, uh, Canadiana, Outdoor Explorers. We're going to make sure that everybody gets out, gets active, does some fun stuff. Yeah. The returning staff not only makes it a little easier for, for you to plan things, but also for the kids who are returning from camps because they're like, hey, I know you. Right. And uh, let's face it, they're, they are a fantastic staff and it's a huge draw. It is a huge draw to have great staff that are, you know, familiar. Yeah. When you're dropping your kids off, it's good to know who they're who they're being cared for. Certainly. Uh, how long have you been with, uh, with Winkler, Winkler Recreation? I started in October of last year, so this is my first summer. So I'm okay. really excited to be, my office window literally looks out over the Aquatic Center. Um, I get to hear all the comings and goings in the Rudin Exhibition Center. Mm -hmm. I, I love when the building's full and uh, I love seeing the facility used. So I'm really excited for the change in seasons because it's just something new. And it sounds like it's already a busy place, but for the people who maybe haven't taken advantage of what you know the MEC and Winkler Rec has to offer, why should they, uh, you know, come on by? Well, a big part of uh, what I wanted to do when I started in this job was to make sure that people felt comfortable coming into the building because there is so much. So the field house, we have lots of, if you go online, our calendar's up there. Um, we have some open turf times. People can come in, play lawn games. Uh, we have a gateway group that comes in every Friday that plays lawn games with us. It's yes. fantastic. I love seeing the building used. The walking track is amazing. The Icon Arena. It's just, there's just so much. There is gathering spaces. I always tell people, even if you're going to go for a walk and then you want to have coffee, there's coffee coaches and anything upstairs you can yep. sit down and relax and uh, we just love seeing community built through recreation. And of course changes coming with the updates to Centennial Arena so the Flyers are playing out of icon so even some more change in the very near future. Right so just as we get settled into what uh, what I think will be a winter things will look a bit different next yep. year yeah um, I think all of our user groups are going to work well together and as communities do we make it work so we're very excited to see the changes it'll be a little bit busier at the building as, yep. things, as things shift but I think it's gonna be fantastic. Fantastic, yeah. If people want to learn more about what Winkler Recreation has going on or how to get in touch with you, how can they do that? Yeah, they can go to the Meridian Exhibition Center uh, website or they can also go to uh, our Instagram page and Facebook pages, which is Winkler Parks and Rec. And they can also call the building um, and 
they'll put them through to me or they'll give them my email address and I'm always happy to answer any questions and if people have ideas about recreation and feel that something is missing in this community I am all ears because I love uh, hearing ideas. Good to know. Beg, thanks for stopping by today. Thank you for having me. Hey, I'm Nicole Clausen. Hopefully you enjoyed that video. If you have something you'd like to share with the Pemina Valley, we'd love to have you on the morning show. Send us an email at news at PeminaValleyOnline.com. And remember, like this video and share it with your friends.